Welcome to this new video. This video is regarding the DAX function for calculating the current and previous total of the month. So usually we used to get the total by giving the filter as date add and give the interval as minus. But that will work for the slicer or for the table visual. But we need to populate the visual in a card. And in that visual, we need to show the current month or the latest month total and exactly the previous month total also. So how we are going to achieve that, we will see in this video. So basically, this is very simple to do. You need to get the current month. That is the maximum function you need to use and get the latest month and the latest year. And you just need to subtract. First for the current month, you need to get the maximum month and the maximum year. And you need to use it in the filter calculate so that you will be getting the latest month. And for the previous month, you need to subtract it by one. But there need to be a logic for that because the car, if the current month is January, then the previous month, obviously it will be December. But the previous year will be the previous year. That means the current year minus one so you need to use that logic and you need to get the previous without that it will be it will be returning a blank or a different ambiguous value so we will see an example for that we are having a data set and this in this data set we are having two years in a calendar column and we will be showing that in the table and in this table we will show the order date that means the dates which are there in this sales table you can take off the quarter and the year and we are having the revenue and we will be giving the revenue itself so this is the the data we are having we need to get this june and may june is the last date or the latest date and may is the previous of this latest we need to get these two values so first we will get the current value that means the current month that is you need to get this 11,000 or 11 lakh 38,001 so we will be creating a new measure we will name it as latest month latest month equals to can calculate using calculate sum of revenue and now we will be creating the filters and you need to get the current filter that means current month you need to get and the current year you need to get. so first we will check the year whether the year for the calendar date it should be the last year that means it should be the year and it should be the max max is used for getting the latest year and you will be getting the calendar order date so here it is showing that okay you need to get the last year last date from that date you are going to format the year only and that year should be the calendar year which you need to get the sum of now we need to get the month also so you can do the same thing for the month month calendar order date should be equals to the month of the maximum calendar order date so we will check it we can take the card visual and we will select the measure which we have made so now which is showing in millions now we, we can change it to k and we can view it so we got the latest month as 7 lakh 38 thousand and that is the same here also so sometimes we may think that okay we can use date add function or we can use the dates between function also so we will uh, check and see whether the date add function is working or not we will at the end of the video we will check and see whether it is working it won't be working because it will be showing the entire sum it will be showing you need to give the particular month and you need to give the particular year so now we will be showing the previous month so for previous month we can create a measure we need to just subtract this month and year but at the same time you need to check whether the year month is january or what so previous month equals to so here for good for formatting of the programming we can use the variable variable current month we can get it current month is month of of max under order date. So that is a current. So we can get the current year also. Current year equals year of max calendar date. Now we can get the previous month as well as the previous year. That means this year minus one, this month minus one. So, but the problem is if the year, if the month is January, January, then the previous year should be this year minus one. Otherwise, there is no need to subtract this year. The current month is February, no need to subtract this year. The year will be the same. The same way, if the month is January, you need to subtract it by one. It means it should not go to zero. It should be 12. That means the previous year's December month you need to get. So both the things, you need to provide an if condition and you need to set the pre set up the previous month. So very previous month equals to if current month if the current month equals to one if it is january then the previous month should be december that should be the 12 otherwise it should be current month minus one so this logic is very simple the current month is february it should go to february minus one that is january but if the current month is january it should go to december that is the previous month should go to december the same way we can use the previous year also previous year equals to if current month equals to one then the year should be current year minus one so current year minus one else it should be the current year 
So this is also simple. The month is January. Then we suppose the month is January 2022. The previous month should be 2021 December. So December it will be taking it from the previous statement and 2022 we need to get it through this current year minus one. If the current month is February, then of course the current year should be the same as what we have mentioned. So this is the only thing we need to see about this logic. Now we can return it and we need to use the calculate. Calculate expression as uh, sum of revenue and we can and give the filter current month of calendar date should be previous previous month and year of calendar date should be previous year so we can get it in a card visual in this visual we will be getting the previous month and it is showing a 7.42 million that is the same value here so we can format it into a good model so we got the previous month revenue and the latest month revenue so now we will get the total revenue before getting the total revenue we will check and see why it is not working with date add fund we can create a measure we can use it as current we will try and check it is not coming in the date add. so we can calculate sum of revenue and we can use that date add and we can give the calendar order and we will give it as minus one and month usually this is the basic DAX function which suddenly we will try to use it and we will create a card and we will try to show it and we can get the current see current is not coming it is taking the total revenue and it is showing so for getting the current month value and the previous month value you need to separate the month and year and you need to get it using this way. this is one of the way you can get the latest month and the latest previous month so in this way you can get the latest month and you can get the previous month and here you can use the slicer also if you use the slice out the corresponding values will be changing accordingly so if you want you can use a slicer here you can get the date in that slicer get the date hierarchy and get the date year and month you can select a month february and the same february value it will filter according to the slicer also because we are not using any function to take out the filter so definitely if you are using an external filter it will be working accordingly as a default it will be showing the latest month and the previous latest month so hope this video will help you and you have a nice Stay.